name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Gospel Sermon of St. John Chrysostom. If any man be devout and love God, let him enjoy this fair and radiant triumphal feast. If any man be a wise servant, let him rejoice and enter into the joy of his Lord. If any have labored long in fasting, let him now receive his recompense. If any have wrought from the first hour, let him today receive his just reward. If any have come at the third hour, let him with thankfulness keep the feast. If any have arrived at the sixth hour, let him have no misgivings, because he shall in no wise be deprived thereof. If any have delayed until the ninth hour, let him draw near, fearing nothing. If any have tarried even until the eleventh hour, let him also not be alarmed at his tardiness. For the Lord, who is jealous of his honor, will accept the last, even as the first. He gives rest unto him who comes at the eleventh hour, even as unto him who has wrought from the first hour. And he shows mercy upon the last, heir to the first, and to the one he gives, and upon the other he bestows gifts. And he both accepts the deeds, and welcomes the intention, and honors the act, and praises the offering. Wherefore, enter you all into the joy of your Lord, and receive your reward, both the first and likewise the second. You, and rich, you rich and poor together hold high customs. You sober and you heedless, honor the dead. Rejoice today, both you who have fasted and you who have disregarded the fast. The table is full later. Feast you all sumptuously, the calf is fatted. Let no one go hungry away. Enjoy you all the feast of faith. Receive you all the riches of loving kindness. Let no one bewail his poverty, for the universal kingdom has been revealed. Let no one weep for his iniquities, for pardon has shone forth from the grave. Let no one fear death, for the Savior's death has set us free. He that was held prisoner has annihilated it. By descending into hell, he made hell captive. He embittered it when it tasted of his flesh. He was embittered. And Isaiah, foretelling this, did cry. Hell said he was embittered. He was embittered. When it had encountered thee in the lower regions, it was embittered. He was embittered. Before it was abolished, it was embittered. He was embittered. Before it was mocked, it was embittered. He was embittered. Before, it was mocked, it was Before it was slain, it was embittered. He was embittered. Before it was overthrown, it was embittered. It was embittered. For it was fettered in chains. It took a body and met God face to face. It took earth and encountered heaven. It took that which was seen and fell upon the unseen. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, hell, where is thy victory? Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. And you are overthrown. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. And the demons are fallen. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. And the angels rejoice. Christ is risen. risen. Truly he is risen. And life reigns. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. And not one dead remain in the tomb. For Christ, being risen from the dead, is become the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. To him be glory and dominion unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen.